ょー Welcome to Doom. Doom! Doom registered trademark. You guys have no idea how much Doom I used to play as a kid. Like, I played Doom like every day. I had the first game memorized. Almost, not quite. Watching you play Doom is torture. (laughs) (laughs) Not really, though. Anyway... What do you have to say? I have to say that now there are two d- separate games called Doom having playthroughs right now. Oh, fuck yeah. Anyway, I'll this mark, is... I'll mark one is like Doom 93 and one is like Doom 16. Yeah. But, uh... Put subtitles on. Yeah, oh yeah, that's... Uh... Yeah, you put subtitles on. Oh uh, yeah, I don't see Maybe... where it lets me... Screw it, let's jump into it, we'll find it in the pause menu. Anyway, um... I played more Doom than, like, anyone I knew. Like, I am a huge Doom fan. And Gus was like, well, you can't play Doom yet. And I was like, what do you mean I can't play Doom yet? And he's like, you're such a huge fan of the Doom games. Oh, God. Uh, This is what? This is, like, what, regular, I guess? Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. We'll go with Harry Monty. Um... (coughs) He was like, you can't play the new Doom yet. And I was like, what the fuck do you mean I can't play the new Doom yet? And he was like, because we have to record the purest reaction possible from you playing the new Doom. Caitlin is have, going to be playing. I have suffered for weeks. Like, I haven't watched anything about it. I have been so good to not spoil it that, like, it hurts. <laughs> the only reason I have Doom... Because we're playing on at my place, Xbox One. Yeah. Is because our buddy Nick got Doom and mm-hmm. then wasn't a big fan of it. How did he say it hurt his eyes? He it was too fast for him. Yeah. He was he described himself as an old man. Well, I mean, there's like a seizure warning at the beginning of the game. Like there are people that have complained that it hurts their eyes for various reasons. Yeah. So, I mean, I can understand. We'll we'll see. But, like, no, Gus was like, no, you have to wait to play, so I've been waiting. That looks like the Undertaker's logo. It does. My PlayStation at home, my PlayStation 4, is sad because it doesn't have Doom. It also needs cleaned up because I just got it, and I think it has a bunch of dust because I bought it used. Anyway, oh, God. Awesome! We start by smashing a dude's head. (gasps) We're, like, in some sort of, like... Oh, my God, this is awesome. We're in, like, a hellscape. (gasps) Oh, yeah! (laughs) This starts off great. Like, we just start off shooting shit. Screw waiting. Screw shit. waiting. But yeah, Nick wasn't a fan of it, so you can only get, like, I think, like, $25 at GameStop. Yeah. So it was like, I'll sell it to someone for, like, 40 bucks. Yeah, so now, okay. Wait, okay, press, oh god, what does that say? Does it say? I think it's right stick. Yeah. It's hard to read. Yeah. Oh, hi there, uh, not Cortana. I'll say Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, yeah, that works too. Alright, we're looking at a box. We're I think that box. was the box from Season 9 of Red vs. Blue. That's okay, so we're containing something. What, well, I'm not sure, but we're containing some. Oh, it looks like they were doing some kind of seance here. Yeah. Is this power armor? <gasps> Basically. Oh, God, the Eye of Sauron comes up. I was just thinking that. Uh, we got, oh. Demons in space. Yes! Fucking space demons! You don't even know, what guys. What happened every time you put on your clothes? Oh, dude, I would have, like, NES flashbacks right now, and I'd be alright with that, because I'm wearing my my NES t-shirt. The one that makes me very happy. Anyway, demonic invasion in progress. Status support. It's just such a nonchalant, like, eh. Hey, we well, like, going. that's the big thing with this game, was, like, the original games didn't really have story, it was just you're on Mars, and there's, like, an outbreak. And they went back to that in this one because three was not liked at all. I just like how it's demonic outbreak happening. Just like, oh, there's a severe thunderstorm warning. I mean, they must have obviously been doing something to where they thought it could happen. Yeah. Okay. They work together. Okay. 
Okay. Alright, so we don't want to talk to him, apparently. Or we don't want to listen to him. Alright, so... Oh, God, you move so fast. It's great. There's no sprint. It's just go all the time. Oh, my God, I killed it. Anyway, <laughs> glory kill. Oh, yeah, glory. I thought it said glory. Dealing damage to demons that will cause them to stagger. I'm going to read these all out. I'm sorry. That's fine. Uh, oh, I didn't read it all. Whatever that said, I don't know. I think it was... Something about pressing a button. I think it's if they it. turn orange, you can do a fancy kill. <gasps> yeah! All right. E. Okay, that's like your melee button. So right stick is also your melee. What was that? It just flew out. I think out. it was health. I think it was. Yeah, it was. I saw blue. Plus yeah, it five. was health. Hey there, buddy. Can I can I take that from you? Whatever that is. No. Is it a shotgun? Can, <gasps> it's a shotgun. Yes. You can pry it from my cold dead hands. All right, combat shotgun. This was like the best game in the at the best game, the best weapon in the first game. But this is a pretty game. It is a very nice looking game. Oh, hi there, scary guy. I call him ah. Steve. Oh, it's so awesome! <laughs> Dude, that's awesome! Anyway, uh, we're not going to look at the codex, because there's no point, right? Nah. If it were me playing on my own, I probably would. Do these explode? I'm sure they do. They're red barrels. Ah! Dude, this is so gory. This is the best. <laughs> oh my god, you don't even know. <laughs> no! That guy with his own arm. Oh my god, this is the greatest thing ever. Oh, I, I shot it, like, instinctively. Oh, you took out its liver. Oh my god. <gasps> that was awesome! Oh, you cleared... You... I think that was just a giant, uh... It was like a giant bulb. demon spawner. You... Broken and spawn more demons. Dude, this game is the best. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. You're gonna hear this a lot from like the <laughs> next couple minutes. Like, how do I switch weapons? How do I switch weapons? I'm good. That's apparently how did I just fucking crouch? Oh, nothing explained. D pad, maybe? Maybe. Yes, I know my health is low, mostly because I was being an idiot. I'm so used to having to like sprint in games. That, like, it's weird not sprinting, so I keep trying to, like, hit a sprint button. Yeah. Which is fine. I'll get used to it. But, like, good God, do you move fast. Come here. Oh, my God. I'm also still trying to figure out how to switch weapons. There has to be a button I haven't tried yet, right? Try both the bumper. Whoa! Oh, that's explosion. Okay, it's right bumper. They didn't... If they explained that, I didn't see it. I think it's one of those things, like, it doesn't try to... You can just, like, leap up there? <laughs> oh my god, that's cool. Like, you can just fucking leap. Oh, I can't leap from that high. Okay, that's fine. Um, I think it's as long as they're orange, you can... Yeah, that's awesome. Dude, this game is the best. Like, oh my god. Also, this pistol does not feel super weak. But this is also a really early game. Yeah. But, oh my god, die. Alright. Come here. Hi. Okay, thank you. Kick him in the dick. Can I jump? Yeah, okay, just jump. Okay. Like, okay. But this is just like the regular Doom, where it didn't really tell you much. Yeah. It didn't really, like, give you instructions. Because I do know that this one, it's like, walk around, try to find the keys, stuff like that. Just like the original. Yeah. No story, just walk through. Assuming I gotta go this way. What do you want to tell me, the little lady? Not be allowed to leave the place. I would. He. I'm gonna assume me. I'm assuming me, but I doubt it. But I don't know. Your parents named you Doom Guy. Uh. Doom Guy Johnson. But I'm gonna make. Huh, blah, 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 whatever. Anyway. Anyway. How do you enjoy. Do you enjoy the first Doom, by the way? Like, are you, are you having fun playing that? I like it, yeah. Yeah? I mean, I'm glad you... Oh, cool. We apparently don't like that guy. Um, I don't know. I remember when this game was originally Ooh. in production, it was not apparently getting great reviews. Like, they had all kinds of problems with it. And then it came out, and it, like, fixed every single one of those problems, like, immediately. It was kind of crazy. Like, this game came out not broken. Because it's bullshit that games come out broken, and that's acceptable. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. Like, that's such a BS. Do I jump down there? Yep, okay. I wasn't sure if I, if I just jumped or what. Like, it is. It's it's such BS. I know that there was a problem with, like, the multiplayer, I think, was a problem at first, but, um, yeah. So I can't, like, double jump. Alright, that's fine. Uh, we are on some kind of hellscape. Oh, I think we're on Mars. Well, I know, but it's also, like, a hellscape. It's a crash site. It is a crash site. It is, like, I know, I meant, like, Mars hellscape. Mars that makes sense. Lens this in the of dossier to view objectives. Okay. So, I hit that button to look at objectives. Mission challenges. Okay, that's fine. Right bumper. Weapon upgrade points. I've heard you can turn that off somehow. Same with, like, your suit upgrades. You can apparently turn that off. Probably in the settings somewhere. Um, I'm not going to worry about it right now. We're just going to deal with it. I just know that they've said that I saw somewhere that you could turn that off if you wanted to play, like, old school Doom. Because apparently the game gets too easy if you upgrade yourself. Yeah. I don't know how true that is. I just remember seeing, like, reviews that said that. Like, if you were looking for a more traditional Doom experience, you could turn it off. From what I've heard about this game is that the multiplayer is a little lacking, but the single player more than makes up for it. And that's what they wanted. This game was built with multiplayer as a secondary thing, basically. Yeah. Like, it was all about giving you that it's single like when player Bioshock experience. 2 had a multiplayer mode. Dude, that was so weird. Did you yeah. ever play it? I think I played, like, a match or something. It wasn't the worst. It was just strange that it was there. Like, it didn't... Yeah. It was better than it needed to be, and it didn't need to be there. Yeah. Um, and I know, like, Last of Us was kind of that way, where it was like, why does this have a multiplayer? But that was a really good multiplayer. Yeah, I always like, forget Uncharted has multiplayer. Uncharted 2 did, yeah. yeah. Well, the um, I think too. the new one does too, yeah. yeah. But I actually haven't played the Uncharted games a whole lot, so... Um, I might play 4, I might not. I haven't decided yet. Oh yeah, the, uh, the new... Not the new... Actually, I don't know about the new one, but, um... Like, the... Tomb Raider from, like, 2013 had multiplayer. Yes, it did, and it was... Uh, I've heard mixed reviews. I heard some people say it was really good. I've heard some people say it was bad. I played a bit of it. It was... It was pretty fun. Yeah. Nothing like, keep me coming back, but it was... I'm it's glad I played for a bit. Do I... Okay, that's just there. Oh, uh, it had, a, like, a glowy symbol on it, so I wasn't yeah. sure if I could, like, shoot it, or what the hell am I... Am I supposed to get that? Is that what I'm supposed to get? I don't know. Like, I think that might be the card key or something that I need. That or a, like or a shield or something. something. Ah! Okay, what's this? This looks... Oh, it gave you shield. Oh, it did. Okay. Okay. That's cool. Oh, this one looks promising. What's this? Okay, so I need the blue Dirt card key. I don't have the blue card key, right? Nope. Okay. So let's go this way. I bet that looks promising. I bet that guy has the blue card key. I think he's taking a nap. I think he's dead. I it's bet he has a very him. long nap. Mm, a nap that lasts forever. Anyway, hey there, what you got for me? The blue card key. Okay, that's a really intuitive way to teach you that. Like, oh, some doors have card keys. You just need to go find them. Like instead of holding your hand. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm surprised that you just took it off him and didn't like rip him to pieces. Well, I mean... It's violent. How do I... Okay. Is there, like, a thing I'm supposed to jump on? I can't sprint. Do I need to go through here somehow? Can I crouch? I've yet to figure that out. I don't think so. I think you crouched right Oh, I do. I did. You're right. How do I get up? back up there? Can you hop the fence? I don't know. Like, I can't... Oh, okay. That That's to teach you that you can, like... You just grapple ledges. Yeah, you can grapple ledges. Okay, that's smart. Again, it's smart. It's like, oh, I feel smart. I now feel smart for figuring that out. Like, oh, I figured that out. I feel... And it didn't hold my hand to tell me it. Yeah. Um, which was something I kind of miss about games. Grenade. Cool. How do I... I wonder how I throw that. You can I press bet that's thing for left bumper, maybe. What'd you say? There's thing there. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, 
that's something I kind of miss about games, is, like, they always have this tutorial, like, anymore, where it's like, oh, do this, do that, you're good. Mm-hmm. Like, I like the learning process that older games used to have of, like, figuring it out yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, this does a really good job of, like, teaching you without holding your hand about it. Does left trigger do anything with the shotgun? That's how you... Oh, the left trigger? Yeah. No. Okay. I was about to say, I thought you meant... I was like, no, I'll take the grenade, it's a left bumper. I wonder if it does something later, like an alt fire if you level it up. Uh, it might. I know with some guns, I think that's how you aim with them, but I don't know. Yeah. I also think there's no reload. That's so... Like, I keep hitting a button thinking I can reload, and you yeah. don't. You just fire until it's empty. Like, this game is super fast-paced. fast, fast paced. Um, But, like... Uh, what was I thinking? Also, like, the glory kill animations don't take forever. No, they don't, and that's nice. Like, they don't take you... They don't take you a really long time. Like ten seconds. Mm-mm. Because some games, they do that too. Oh, I do yeah. like how it automatically switches back to and your pistol. your pistol has unlimited ammo. Yes, your pistol has unlimited I also know, I figured out, that the longer you hold it, the more power the shot does. Okay. So that's like maximum power. So if you're facing a tough enemy, if you can stand and wait, you can do like a charged shot. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty positive. Okay, I'm assuming I go down here. Does this do something, maybe? Uh, oh! Let's, you want to figure out my... Oh, good! We're not going to figure out my theory right now. We're going to punch this guy. Anyway. Punch him um, right in his stupid face. I'll figure that out later. We're not going to deal with it. Anyway. Um, I mean, the pistol is weak, but it's not like super horrible. Also, your punch feels satisfying. Like, when you just melee something and you don't do a glory kill, yeah. it's like, I don't feel like it's a last resort. I mean, it is, but, you know. Got my life into pieces. Uh, I like that with the pistol, yeah, that jump. pretty much missing doesn't really have any repercussion. Mm-hmm. Like, you can just keep firing. I don't know. I have a lot of very nice things to say about this game. How long have we been going, by the way? Oop, not that way. I don't know if you have to put the timer on. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, about 15 minutes. Okay. We'll do like 30 minute episodes. I that's, think. that's fine. God, this game is so... Pr- it's really nice. Look, I could say a million nice things about this. By the way. <gasps> okay. So you can jump from platform to platform and grapple your way up. Okay. Grappling like that seems to become more of a standard in first-person shooters. It really has, which is something that I like. Okay, what's this? A combat support drone. Hold the weapon, left trigger to charge up a round burst with tighter spread. Uh, oh, field drones are supplied with weapon mods that can be used to do, 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 with the left trigger. Okay, so left trigger must do something. So left trigger will do something. Mm-hmm. It gives you... Okay. So that gives you like a charge burst for your shotgun. So yeah, we'll go ahead and buy that. That was rude. Oh, dude, you just like punch him? That's kind of cool, though. <laughs> like, in a weird way. I wonder if I can... can I? Oh, nope. I guess it doesn't do anything. It only lets you punch him. So yeah, that now does like a charge shot. Okay. So yes, left trigger does do something. We just hadn't gotten to it yet. Yeah. That's actually really cool. I mean, they have... <laughs> oh, that's awesome! I mean, they have some stuff where it interrupts you to tell you, but it's stuff that's different from, like, the original Doom games. Mm-hmm. It's not, like... You know what I mean. It's things that aren't, like, a standard. Yeah. It's like, oh, by the way, weapon mod, that's how that works. <gasps> that is awesome! Oh my god, I... Mm, I'm trying not to say the same thing 15 times. <laughs> I'm also trying to, like, give actual commentary. Where's that guy shooting from? There he is. It's up there like a chump. Yeah. I know the hardest difficulty in this game, if you die, you start from the beginning of the game. Yes. Yes. I do know that. Um. Yeah. No, it's, it's ridiculous. Ugh. Oh, it killed me. I think. Yep. That's okay. Right. That is A-okay. 
dying is just a part of video games. We have to deal with it occasionally. I wonder where it starts me now. Like, does it start me from the beginning of the level, like the original Doom? Or is there, like, a checkpoint system? Similar from checkpoint. Oh, okay. There is a checkpoint system. I wasn't sure. Because, uh, the original Doom just took you back to the start of the level. Yeah. Sucked. You didn't need those organs. Of course not. Well, Steve, do, you, do you need organs? Stop hogging all those organs. Save some for the children. Like that, not that one. They can keep that one. Yeah. Okay. 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 I don't need to crouch through there. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's a secret. Looks kind of like Samus, but it's not. It's obviously it's me. Guy. What? It's a little Doom Guy toy. Yeah. Huh. All right. That's cool. Found that. An imp model, apparently. Oh, I thought I was gonna glory kill him there. Just die. Okay, cool. Grab by the throat and choke Like, them. this is super violent, but it's so ridiculous that it's like, whatever. Children shouldn't play this. They're gonna want to go to Mars and fight demons. Children should definitely not play this. If there is a child playing this, stop them. Like, it is very cartoony in, like, the violence, admittedly, but, like, I would never think of letting a kid play this game. Ever. You know what I mean? What do you think would be a right age for someone to play this? Like, 15? Uh, probably, yeah. Yeah, I I mean, I guess 15 would be alright. If you're a if you are If you're a mature 15-year-old that, like, can handle it, sure, but, like, you know. Yeah. My parents were letting me play games like this when I was 15. Yeah. But not my sister, because I was mature enough to handle things like this. She wasn't. You know, because kids age differently. Mm-hmm. Gut punch. Back punch. I should really stop just doing glory kills the whole time. But it looks cool. It's so fun to do. Like, it's super satisfying. Oh, you broke his arm and then obliterated his face, so his arm doesn't... Probably, probably not big a deal anymore. This game is, like, really satisfying to play. I don't know if you know this or not. It is. It's just, like, really satisfying. I haven't played yet, but I'll definitely... Oh. Uh, thunder fists, go! <laughs> anyway. What? Mm-hmm. It's almost like, now I own the game. Yeah. Then I'll just, I'll play it later. Were well, you just, like, waiting for me to play it first? Yeah. Oh, sweet. You're nice. Like the you. one thing I saw of it was, I watched a Funhouse video on it, but they were doing, like, mm-hmm. everyone on the hardest difficulty, uh-huh. and I think only Lawrence got farther than you are right now. Oh. That's still one of those things, like, I wasn't really paying attention. No, I get you. You know, I was, like, every every YouTuber was doing a fucking series. I was like, no. Yeah. I can't watch it. I can't spoil it. You it's know. One of those things, like, with so many, so much entertainment being online. Like, you and I watch a lot of YouTube and stuff like that, where we watch people play games or streamers. Yeah. Yeah. You're and then it's wrong. like, you want to play a new game, but you can't play it right away. Right. Then, like, half the people you watch are playing that game. Right. And a lot of times I don't mind. Like, Overwatch, I haven't played yet. I plan to play it eventually. I just haven't. Um, I don't mind watching that online. Like, I'm not so amped up for it that I don't want to, like, ruin it for myself. Because it's not really... Also, for multiplayer, Mm -hmm. I feel better. Like, Yeah, it's fine. But, like, there are some games that I won't watch online because I don't... I don't want to experience it yet. I want to experience yeah. it for the first time, like, playing in it. A campaign. And the internet, like, really can ruin that for people. Yeah. And, uh, which, I mean, it's fine, like, when Asagao Academy, which is a, I don't know if, like, people know what this is, it is a dating sim where you date the people from, like, Normal Boots... You can date John. You can you can date Danton. You can play John Tron. Uh, like like Satch Bag. You can do uh, like a bunch of them. And uh, I I really wanted to play it for some reason, but everybody that was in normal boots was playing it. So I was like, I I can't watch this because I want to play it and experience it myself. So like as much as I wanted to watch it, I wasn't checkpoint. Yeah, checkpoint. I wasn't because I wanted to experience it for myself, but I wanted to watch those videos. Like, that's the thing about the internet, is that it can it can ruin things for you without intending to. That's why a lot of places are really, like, 
spoiler conscious. Like the other day, I was watching, uh, I was watching a live stream, and it was a streamer by the name of Mitsugi Reggie. For people that don't know, that's you know who I'm talking about. Yeah. He was streaming with You're another guy. best friend. Yes, he is a internet friend of mine. He was streaming with another guy, and they were playing Overwatch. And the guy that he was streaming with, I think it was Shariana. I don't remember. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, he had a guy come into his chat and spoil Game of Thrones as soon as the episode was over. And Chiriana was really mad about it, because he's like, dude, I don't watch Game of Thrones, but there are people here that do, and what you did was a really dick move. You can't, you can't do stuff like that if you are on the internet. Like, especially if you make a living on the internet. Like, that's such a jerk thing to do. And it happens all the time. You had it happen with you with Star Wars. I did. That wasn't even online, though. Um, I, as you guys know, I work at a game store. And, oh, I didn't realize there was, like, an objective thing up there. I was working, and it was actually, like, um, like, right when Star Wars came out. I was wasn't going... Like the Friday it came out? It was the Friday it came out. I hadn't gone yet because I hadn't gotten tickets early enough to go and it was all sold out. So I was like, alright, no big deal. We'll go Monday. And everybody's like, oh, you haven't gotten seen it yet? Like, that sucks. But they weren't saying much about it other than it was really good. I had a guy, he walks in, he looks me dead in the eye and tells me, I mean, can we spoil it at this point? I'm sure we can. It's spoiler fucking warning. Star, but yeah, spoiler yeah. warning, whatever. Go it's to fucking, here. Yeah, go to here, done. whatever. He looks me right in the eye and tells me Han Solo dies, Kylo Ren is his son, and like, j- like dead to rights tells me, tells me that, and I was like, dude, what the fuck? I was so mad, but of course I'm working, so I can't be like get the hell out. But I remember being so angry. Thankfully, no one else was in the store when it happened in terms of customers because it could have spoiled it for them and then I would have been even more angry. So, like, I sat through the movie on Monday, like, just fuming because I knew that Han Solo died and everything and, like, I couldn't enjoy it at that point. Like, when he died, I was like, here's where it happens, you know, because the dude, like, told me how he died. He told me everything. I was so mad. I'm like, dude, you can't, you can't do that kind of stuff. Like, you just can't do that. It's not cool. Oh, there's a mission activated. I didn't pay attention. Mission challenge. Okay. I guess you don't have to do the mission challenges. No, they're just, like, I mean, optional They're objectives. just, like, there. No, anyway. I, like the map, I like that map, too, like, the 3D design. Oh, yeah. No, that's actually really cool. I like that, too. Yeah. You can, you can look all around the map. It's cool. Anyway. All right, we'll stop talking about Star Wars spoilers. We'll stop talking about Star Wars spoilers. At least the spoiler. We can st- uh, I mean, yeah, no, we'll we'll keep the spoiler, the actual like spoiler talk, yeah. whatever. Darth um, Vader's Luke's father. Yeah, like the actual conversation will continue to go, but like, no, that's the thing about if you're on the internet, like you can't. You, there's some some of it's on you. Like, I don't want to play. I don't want this video game to be spoiled for me, so I'm just not going to watch videos on it. Like, that's yeah. fine. That's your prerogative. Like, if you want to spoil it for yourself, fine. But don't. Don't spoil things that, like, the new movies that come out. Because not everybody's seen them yet. And most people are really good about it. What am mm-hmm. I... Oh, it's his little power. Yeah, uh, I was like, what? I didn't realize it turned something yeah. on. Where is that demon that's shooting at me? There it is. So when do you think it's okay to talk about movies and stuff, like, publicly? Um. For, like, a big movie. For, like, a big movie? I guess it depends, like... How big of a... Are we talking, like, Star Wars big, or are we talking, like, Civil War? Let's say, like, Civil War and above. Uh, I honestly think... I actually haven't seen Civil War yet, but weirdly enough, nothing's been spoiled for me. Weirdly enough. Well, a little bit, but not... The stuff that had already been spoiled before the movie even came out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nothing, like, traumatically has been spoiled for me, and I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Anyway, like, I think generally, like, Star Wars, I think it's generally accepted that you can talk about it. I just didn't want to get somebody to be really mad, so I was like, spoiler alert. I remember, um, um, the second time we, you and I saw it, which I think was, uh, the first time with... With your parents. Yeah, at least my dad. I think mom saw it. I don't know. Anyway, go on. Yeah, when we saw that, we went to, uh, lunch afterwards, and I was... 
Like, Dad wanted to talk about it, and I was mm-hmm. like, let's let's talk about, like, the spoilers later. Yeah, because we didn't know who was around that hadn't seen it yet. Yeah. And it was so close to the movie coming out. I honestly think that with movies like Star Wars, I honestly think, like, six months out, it's fine. E- even yeah. less. Maybe even three. But what, for like, something like that, once the DVD's out, especially if it, since it's been out for like a month, I think it's fine at this point if we talked yeah. about it. But fuck it, spoiler warning anyway, just in yeah. case somebody's like, "Oh my god." Um, but I think like movies like Civil War, I think need a little longer because they are smaller. You know, I don't know. I think once the DVD's out and it's been out for a little while, I think you're good to talk about yeah, it. I think something like Civil War, as compared to like the Avengers, yeah. Um, it's one of those things, like, the people that care about... People it's not care something that's going to get talked about as much just in general public, like Star Wars. Like, right, or like everyone Game... saw Star Wars. Right, or like Game of Thrones. Yeah. Like, Game of Thrones, so many people watch it that there's such... I think once the season's over, you can talk about it. Like, so many people... Like, a lot of people still saw Civil War, but as compared to Force Awakens or Game of Thrones... Right, right. It's no contest. Um, I think once, like, seasons are out... You should give them a couple months and then talk about them. Yeah. Because, like, I knew somebody the other day that wanted to talk about Daredevil, uh, Mitsu again, was, mm-hmm. like, mentioned Daredevil on stream and was talking about the second season. And he goes, well, let's not talk spoiler. Yes, the second season's out, but somebody may not watched it yet. Because there's people like me, I don't generally watch TV week to week. Mm-hmm. Uh, I tend to watch TV season by season, so I wait for seasons to come out before I watch it. Well, Daredevil was put up on all season. Well, yeah, I know, but you get my point. Yeah. Um, let's let, say it doesn't go up season by season. Let's just do fucking whatever. Um, like Game of Thrones. Like Game of Thrones. Um, I tend to watch a whole season after it comes out because I don't like to watch things week by week. Nothing, hold, very little holds my interest for that long. Ruby's about it. <laughs> Ruby's about it anymore. Anyway. Um, uh, brain. Um, uh, I had a thought and just like people ruined it. don't ruined always it. have time to yes or the ability to watch a show week to week like they I just, don't have cable right so some people wait for things to come out on yeah. Netflix some people wait for some people are like me where they just prefer to watch everything all at once yeah so a lot of people take those people into mind now which they didn't used to and so I think a couple I think you really need like a few months. Where it, after it's readily accessible to as many people as possible, then you can talk about it, or at least in like a really like spoiler way. Yeah, like I don't, I don't it's know. still it's like one of those things. Like if you're not sure people have seen it, like you're in like a party or just something, the restaurant, right? Like, with the people right there, it's like, hey, have you seen? You might have, have you seen it? Yeah, have you yeah. seen this yet? Like, can we, can we talk about like, it? Have you seen Game of Thrones yet? Can we talk about it? No? Okay. No, you haven't seen it yet? Alright, fine. I'll respect that. We won't talk about it. Yeah. Like, just like if you're doing, like, a Twitch stream. Uh, not everybody... You have people that may not have seen it yet, so you gotta give it more time than, say, when you talk to your friends and you're like, yeah, have you seen it yet? No? Alright. Or you say, do you care if I spoil it for you? Yeah. That's another thing people have asked me about certain movies. Yeah, because I've had... Like, like, I don't watch... Game of Thrones. It doesn't interest me, and I've had people talk about Game of Thrones around me and give like, you spoilers. You, yeah, it's like, do you cool, you cool if I spoil it? Yeah, it's it's fine. Like, um, some things I don't care. Like, um, most superhero movies I don't care if you spoil for me because I don't mm, watch them a whole lot anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, they don't really interest me like they used to. I find that they're very repetitive. Uh, that's neither here nor there. So, a lot of the time, I don't mind if they get spoiled for me, with some exception. I'd rather people not spoil Civil War. I'll eventually watch it. I just yeah. haven't yet. I haven't cared enough to want to pay to see it yet. Yeah. Um, I'll wait to see it when it comes out on, like, Redbox and I'll rent it, or, yeah. like, a streaming rental. I think as opposed to, like, Avengers, mm-hmm. or, like, Age of Ultron, I think you'll like it more. I'm, I'm sure that I will. I just need to watch it. Yeah. Um, I just don't care enough. I kind of barrel just flung itself yeah. towards the enemy. I hit it. Mm. Yeah. Um, it's one of those I just don't care enough to watch it, like, to pay to see it, yeah. but I'll see it, so I'd rather it not That's how I feel about um, Batman vs. Superman. Like, I was interested in it, but not enough to go to the theaters and see it. Alright, what do we begin? <gasps> oh, yeah! Well, you know what? Let's... Let's end it with this. Cliffhanger. Let's, let's end it with this sweet-ass chainsaw. Alright. Alright.